Here is a fascinating real-world data science problem involving Netflix and Stranger Things. And I am talking about their release schedule. So Netflix was always famous for dropping an entire series at once so that you could just binge it. But with Stranger Things, they have actually split the final season into three distinct drops. And this isn't new. Previously with the show Wednesday in the season two, they split it into two drops. Well, what I find so interesting is in the Wednesday series, they actually had the two drops within one month. So it's possible that users didn't even have to extend their membership to get both drops. Here with Stranger Things, you had part one, volume one, and volume two that were also just within one month of each other, uh, but potentially the billing cycle span. And now you have a finale that is just outside of one month from the initial volume one drop. So we can safely assume that Netflix is trying to maximize profits, right? They're trying to maximize revenue. They want to get people to stay on the platform rather than churning, watching their episode or like, you know, signing up, watching the episodes and then dropping their membership. Alternatively, they might also want to sell merchandise, right? So the longer that, you know, people are making videos and having theories, the longer people are talking about stranger things, uh, the more people might be buying merchandise in the meantime. But the ultimate question for a data scientist or a data analyst is how do you measure the effects of it? How can you help inform the decision? Should that gap be one week, two weeks, one month, two months? So I'm going to discuss how I think I would handle uh, net, like measuring the impact of Netflix's release dates. But if you were a data scientist for Netflix, you should also pause this. Consider this business problem. How would you measure the impact of various release date schedules? How would you know what splitting the Stranger Things release into three times, how does that affect uh, churn? Actually, to give you time to think about this challenge, I'm going to add this in a second video. How would I estimate the impact of Netflix splitting up the release dates for Stranger Things or for the Wednesday series? But I would love to hear what you think in the comments, and we'll discuss it in the next video.